Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be doing sheet metal design inside Katia V5 and we'll be modeling this uh, kind of flange inside the Katia V5 uh, program. So to do this, we'll be utilizing the sheet metal. So let's go to start mechanical design, generative sheet metal design. Let's call it flange. And in the, the very first thing that we do in sheet metal design is set the sheet metal parameters. Now to set this one, we can utilize the dimension from the uh, drawing. So as you can see, this is a 30 radii. Over here uh, on the bending part. So let's let's give the default bend radius to 30. I've already set it. You can set it uh, 30 as well, and then keep the thickness 2 mm. Right now, let's close this and let's start with the sketch. So, we have the front view and the top view, and an isometric view, which is the final uh, model. So, let's start with the front view. So I'll go to visor plane, go to sketch, and we'll start with the with this part of the sketch. So, a little bit. Okay, so we have this one, the sketch. So let's start with a simple profile. Start from origin, horizontal, and do a tangent arc, then do another line and another tangent arc. Do a horizontal line like this, then shift it, pan my sketch to the left side, then I will continue with the Tangent arc, the horizontal line, another tangent arc, and a horizontal line. All right, so this is our sketch. Now we have to give the dimension utilizing our uh, dimension from here. So let's do one thing. Let's first of all give a tangent relation between these two. And a tangent relation, and also this and this line should be coincidence. Now we can give our radius for this one. So this is already 30, this one is 40 mm. In this one, D and RT. Okay. Now here we have an angle. So the angle is between the this line and the horizontal line. So take the angle. So I'll delete that. No problem. You can give angle of 140. Let's delete this dimension because after that we can see that this portion over here 20 so that means center of arc of arc would be 20 part also we can see that this whole thing is 340 40 and this one is uh, 110. Let's go from end point to this 110. Okay, so this uh, horizontal, this horizontal part from this edge should be 20. Give T. Have to do the same one for T to this line as well. Try a little bit like then two. 
okay with this will make your sketch fully defined so we can x sketch and here we will utilize let's go to insert extrusion and let's keep it to mirror extent 110 so anyway we have to cut that part so that's fine so this is like uh, we are going to modify this extrusion to get our final uh, part so let's keep it for now 1 and 110 let's go for okay so we have profile that looks something like this now here i'm going to utilize the position sketch select this face and reverse Swap actually reverse it okay on this face we'll do this profile which is 245 uh, long just a line line which is 245 m long and it should be at a distance of 40 from this edge so here 40 and if you calculate from the vertical edge it should be at a distance of 50 this 100 the middle it is 100 by 2 from this edge to should be 50 so after that you can sketch then We need to project this sketch right so let's change this to shape design let's go for projection select our sketch and support we'll say this one review now we have a projection so we can hide our S3. So this projection we will utilize to create the this uh, lead surface kind of thing. Let's change it back to insert for a lead, and for the radius part, I have to go for let's see the radius. Should be 10 so you can see this radius is 10 and we have a 5 on the corner so let's go for radius 10 ending is also 10 because it's uniform and height should also be 10 and radius for this thing is 3 we can change it to 3 profile will be projection let's reverse it to have the right we utilize this three radius for this one so that we can um, basically create the top sketch to give it a cutout so let's go for it for xy plane for a sketch let's do a position sketch i'm also position sketch y swap and reverse y now we will utilize this drawing to create a sketch so that we can cut it out so let's go for a profile let's do 
well or else let's go for a rectangle because that will be let's do a rectangle now this corner is 30 so let's get a corner Now this one is at a distance of 85 from here. So let's give it a distance here to here. 85. <clears throat> this should be coincidence to that one. Should be coincidence to this. And this height will be from here 100 so let's go minimum and our sketch is fully defined so we can edit it now and let's create a cutout cutout next right After that, we see that there is corner over here and two corner over here, two over here and one over here. So let's go for corner definition. Let's go corner, corner. We see that we have of twenty five. One, two, three, four. The radius of twenty five. Select three. Okay. Let's do one more corner. Should be of radius 60. Turn it around. Third. Cutting this corner and change it to 60. You see our part. It looks good now. The only thing that we have to do is create hole. And to the whole part, have one hole and three. Okay. Go for action and go for how much is dia? Twenty dia. This should be up next have to do anything just have to position that absolute and this one is uh, from 25 and it should ascend okay distance of t from here and 25 from It's okay to come. Let's do two more holes over here. Action select. Keep the values as same. Just again. The dia, but thirty-five. Then that means. Will be five and from there so <coughs> exit 
get and confirm. Let's repeat one more hole. Sorry, I have to do cut out and hole. Space, just go to position is sketch. Click this. Them. Uh, distance should be 35. So let's go. Okay, that should not be 35. Back the center. So let's turn on constant page. This 25. This one is also a sketch. That's okay. So that wraps up the design of the flange. As you can see, in part, if I go to apply material and the so I okay, let's change it to shading with material. So that's how you can utilize the sheet metal Catia V5 to create a full flange like. I hope you understand the tools such as extrusion, bead, dot and all. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. And if you have any doubts regarding this one, feel free to comment down below. And if you are still watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next tutorial. Peace out.